All right, you guys, it's elevated here. I know. I know. <laughs> it feels like I'm apologizing every video for a delay, but um, don't worry. I'm pretty sure I've got myself on a schedule now. So uh, the plan is to do at least one video on, like, the typical, like, philosophical, spiritual talks. Um, and then another video of my own personal poetry. Um, and I, I, I'll explain, like, why I'm doing this channel. <clears throat> the best way I can describe it is I'm basically, like, making these videos um, for, uh, like, for my younger self, in a sense. Like, um, <laughs> I consider myself a von cell, <laughs> a voluntary celibate. <laughs> I, I actually don't plan on having kids at all um, or anything like that. Um, so, but I still felt, like, compelled to make these videos um so I'm just like putting these out there um but why I'm doing like the poetry my own personal poetry on a channel that's supposed to be about like philosophy it um it's kind of like um well the best way I can describe it I have to pull up uh these clips from ready player one it's a video that came out a couple years ago um, so basically it's this, um, city where you have everybody living in these, like, makeshift, um, I don't, I don't even know what to call these. These are mobile homes racked up on, like, um, scaffolding. Um, and it, everything's, like, really high tech, but everybody's living in these, like, uh, trashy places, but they, they all, like, live basically in this virtual reality game. So he's walking down. He lives in, like, one of the top um, top homes, and he's walking down one day just in, like, a regular normal day, and he sees all these people as he's walking by playing the video game. Um, and then he finally comes down to this last character, um, and it's the only clip of her in the entire movie. You see her really quickly, and it's it's just strange because she's very out of place in this in this world. She's down here. And all she's doing is um, tending to her garden. She doesn't have, she doesn't have, she's not in the game. <laughs> so he's coming down and he's actually going off to his, um, he's got his game hidden in like some other uh, secret hideout. So he's on his way there and um, so he doesn't have it on yet, but he sees her as he's walking by and she goes, what's the matter? Life getting you down it gives this really soft chuckle. Um <laughs> Because she knows when she's saying that she's talking about life. <laughs> but he's only going to be thinking about the video game. <laughs> right? Um, but... Okay, so, like, she probably represents some... Some, like, female archetype deity that um, I'm just not catching on. Um, but to me, like, she's also representative of, like, this idea of... Um, uh, who said it? Walt Whitman, I think. You saw it in um, Dead Poet Society. Um, Robin Williams, when he says, Gather ye rosebuds while ye may. This is her gathering her rosebuds, living her authentic self-life. Um, whereas everyone else is living and <laughs> going off and living in this, trying to satisfy, you know, very base urges. I think she's dancing so that's a little bit more so that's like artistic so that's all right um but yeah all she's doing is sitting there gathering her rosebuds not not for anyone in particular it's just because her spirit is at ease and this is what she does when she's like that um so this video is kind of like my version of um gathering my rosebuds and just placing them out so that's kind of why like i don't plan on um monetizing this um channel at all um i'm really not open to like um doing anything like that uh running ads um all of these videos are creative commons public domain so if you do feel compelled to like take them and um work them into your videos or your creations or you just want to download them for yourself like that's like a, they're they're there for you if you if if you want it <laughs> uh like they're they're just my place my flowers out um so yeah that's that's pretty much um 
why I'm doing this, why I'm doing the poetry itself. It's kind of like philosophy in action. Um, so I talk a lot about, like, I know what I need to do in this life. Um, and people get that mixed up. It's it's not really, um, it's not it's not about, like, having a life purpose in the sense that you need a good career or, like, a good, like, artistic, like, um, going on. Like, I, I, I've thought about, like, publishing this stuff, but I really don't have any, um, desire to do that. Um, so it's, 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 when I say, oh, I know what I need to do, it's not, it's not necessarily, like, what, like, physically what to do. Um, it's more about, like, just how to live. And that's that's why I want to give out this um, this this poetry. Like it's not it's it's not here for you necessarily for you to enjoy. If you if you enjoy it, great. But ultimately, what I really want this to do is to kind of like inspire you to gather your own rosebuds. Um, yeah, and like artistically, um, like that's one avenue, one way of doing it. Obviously. Um, but there are other ways, um, for example, like, um, I used to do, like, stage production, uh, for community theater, I worked behind the scenes, um, and my favorite part about that was, like, during curtain call at the end of a show, when all the actors would be lined up, and, uh, they would raise up the curtain one last time, everybody, all the actors would bow, and everybody's standing up and clapping, and then the curtain comes down and everything, like, that's... <laughs> the 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 praise from the audience is really um like it's 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 weird because like I would be up in the booth or behind the stage basically like uh, the audience would be cheering towards the actors not towards me and like I knew that were, they weren't even like e cheering for me um consciously or unconsciously probably but I knew like I was part of the reason that they were cheering um at least I have the saying uh, whereas, like, if, um, if no one talks about the lights or the sound, then that means you did a good job. Like, people only ever talk about, like, those aspects, like, those technical aspects, if they were bad. Uh, if they're really good, then they're actually, like, unnoticeable. Or they, um, if they're really good, they, they bang out the actors more, um, if that makes sense. Um... But yeah, that was that was that was um that was one of the reasons why I really enjoyed doing that. Um and why I'm probably going to go back into doing it again soon. Um it's just community theater, you know, these people would pay like 10, 15 bucks for like a 2-hour live <laughs> theater show in this uh small town or whatever. It's really cool. Um but like I said, it doesn't have to be artistic either. Um like that even though like okay that was actually more technical that's i think that's a good example um because that was all like building sets um you know using power tools hammering um you also had to deal with like scaffolding and then lighting design sound design and stuff like that um but yeah um it doesn't have to be artistic either like another good example is like um health and wellness um so for like example i'm not a doctor i'm not a physical therapist but i do like like, I do have, like, a, I do contribute to the process, um, in my own ethical way, and that's the most important part, is, like, I don't, it's really important to me that I don't peddle, like, pharmaceutical drugs, um, I don't peddle, like, um, alternative therapies that are unfounded, like, I always try to research, um, my, um, my treatments for clients um so while I'm doing that like my spirit is at ease um and that's another really important part and like just that that feeling of like seeing a client um come in and you can tell they're like physically and like emotionally like down and then treating them and then walking them out and they're just like a completely different like elated person like it is like um <laughs> it's, 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 like, therapeutic to me on a, on a certain level, so it's, it's, it's a really good, like, um, that's another good example of, like, something else you could be doing, so it doesn't have to be, like, you don't have to be sitting here writing poetry, when I say gather your rosebuds, you don't have to actually physically go out 
and buy flowers and pots and start watering them. Um, another thing I wanted to point out is on the surface level when you're looking at this yeah like you can see like she's not in the game like she doesn't have the VR headset um, but on another level like um, philosophically that's not the word I wanted to use. I don't know why I said that. That's not the word I wanted to use. Um, but anyways, on a deeper level, like, she... She doesn't have... The headset or the screen... Um, of ego. Right? Like, she doesn't have... She's not driven by um, base desires or delusions. That's a really important aspect of, of this as well. Um, and another thing, um, like, I do want to mention one more example. Like, it doesn't have to be, like, something, like, you don't have to, like, find something that's good, like, health care and art are both, like, kind of, like, high-end, you know, things. Like, you can also find this, this type of living just doing menial labor as well. Um, it's more so about, like, your mindset and your motivation for it. Um, where you're just, like, you're just, like, you're not out there trying to, like, satiate your ego by trying to live a great life. Um, Alexander the Great is a good example. Um, where he just, like, he was constantly driven by his own demons of, like, his relationship with his father to, um, like, he channeled that into something productive, at least, but it was still, like, not, I doubt his spirit was ever at ease, basically. Um, so, you have the the Bible passage is the meek shall inherit the earth. Um, and you typically think of that as like, oh, Jesus comes back and wipes out all the demons or whatever. And the meek or the, the ones who followed him are the ones who inherit the earth. I, on some level, I think it also means, um, you could also view it as, um, well, to understand that you have to think this earth is Satan's realm. Satan's in charge of this realm, basically. So when you, when you say the meek shall inherit the earth, in my mind, that means the meek in spirit, subjugated to their ego, are the ones who inherit the earth. Um, because, um, like Alexander the Great subjugated to his own ego, his spirit didn't find any ease. So, like, he gained the earth. Like, um, ah, uh, who was that where he says, he's talking about some philosopher and he says, I, or um, it might have been out of the Bible, um, where Jesus was talking, uh, where he says, um, there is no man so poor in outward riches and so rich in inward. <laughs> um, so there's that balance of like, you know, um, balancing your material um, wealth with your spiritual wealth. Um, so yeah. So why did I do poetry specifically? Um or what am I doing here? Um, so I based this off of, um, Jack Kerouac's American Haikus. Uh, he used to have a lot of good ones. Uh, like, uh, my boots are soggy from walking in the rain <laughs> and some shit. Um, so like a typical haiku is, um, it's, um, it comes from Japan. It's, it's five syllables. It's a five syllable line, a seven syllable line, and a five syllable line. Um, and if you meet some, like, um, academic snobs, some of them will tell you, like, an, a true haiku. It's not a true haiku unless it, um, 
refers on some level to nature. Um, Jack Kerouac, though, his he actually had um, he he was he had sparked the beatnik generation almost back in the fifties, which was a progenitor to the hippie movement in the sixties. Um, so he had a lot of really good poetry, but um, his his American haikus they were more like um, they were typically like ten syllable. Um, but they were also more like freestyle, almost like jazzy in a way. Um, so I kind of liked that, uh, and his, um, him and Allen Ginsberg's poetry. Um, so I kind of based that on this. Um, this was actually New Year's resolution a couple years ago. Um, I'm going to keep the year anonymous and I'm actually going to like omit a couple of, um, a couple of these for anonymity as well. Um, whether I'm referring to actual people in my life, um, but yeah, so, um, this was a New Year's resolution a couple years ago, um, I was always, like, growing up, I was very left brain, logical, I was really good at math and science, um, so this one year I felt really compelled to exercise my creativity, and while, uh, I, so I didn't actually write one every day oh right oh oh my gosh no yeah um so actually there would be days where I would write like three or four and then I'd relax the next couple of days and just put them out um there'd be other days where I'd like uh, get behind um but for the most part for at least the first half of the year I was really good about it um the second half some stuff happened um so I kind of like got off base with that but I ended up pretty much finishing it um like a couple months into the next year um but yeah I actually did end up writing a a, a haiku for every day so um yeah um these videos I'm gonna try and release every month um so I'm releasing every month's haikus um so these are from january that i wrote that year uh and this is kind of like like i said this is just kind of um because this isn't really about like the metaphysics i'm also going to use this um video to kind of like practice with different elements so it's gonna look kind of sloppy i would say (laughs) um so i'm i'm thinking about um putting music underneath it um just trying that out um i was gonna just like read out these haikus but I um in this one I do just kind of want to try out like putting in my input as well um so we'll see how that works so yeah this is a January past um I uh this is featuring the artwork of Georgia O'Keeffe um a really good artist and I just um actually had a book with her art and I just flipped through the pages and I was like oh this would work really good with this um haiku and I kind of like just ended up doing this for this whole thing like I said this is just a practice one I'm probably not going to do this for every every month but we'll see um so yeah I just yeah let's go the first one um so the first one I kind of wanted to convey (sighs) January is a very like off month for me like it doesn't feel like a new year it's almost it almost feels like a purgatory or like a um in between time like it doesn't feel like the new year until like february or march <clears throat> so this <clears throat> kind of um was supposed to emulate the whole like depressive like just cycle of it a new year new year how similar these days are each cycle is new it's whatever Ah, (laughs) silence holds the tongue, no fire, no eruption, voice never rises, the curse of being an introvert, ugh. (laughs) Reality reflects the visions in my mind and everyone's mind. Mm. Oh, I really like this one. Inhibit fear before it inhibits you. All is not lost, friend. Mind, turbid waters, no surface to breach, I gasp, for one breath I die. Um, 
yeah this one is about um taking one real breath is um silencing the mind in a sense um kind of hard to explain that one unless you're able to like actually sit there and meditate and quiet your 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 internal monologue um explained it to my roommate the other day it's 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 kind of like holding your breath um finding that silence is like holding you almost have to like put so, like a lot of people will sit there and think oh i have to like relax and calm myself and find this still calm like they're, they're thinking of like stilling the waters um or like waiting for the waters to still whereas it's almost like you have to like physically like step down on it to still it like you have to put some physical effort into quieting the waters of your mind um so i explain it as like holding your breath like you feel like the like you have to clamp down when you hold your breath so think of that but like mentally quieting the mind that's the best way i can describe it <laughs> so yeah um melancholic mood Body moves, lone mind watches, separate from the whole. Oh, Jesus Christ. I will go through these, like, terrible phases of melancholy for, like, a week straight. Where I will just be completely apathetic towards everyone and everything. It's crazy. It, 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 it really, like, hits hard sometimes. And, yeah, body moves, <laughs> lone mind watches. Ah. Searching for answers. What questions are being asked? <laughs> life is an odd game. I like that one. Dream another life. This one shackled mind. Set free the soul. Wings take flight. Fragile sanity. <laughs> Crescendo of emotion. The waves overtake. Muck regality, <laughs> convoluted societies, regulated lies. Ugh, this is um, this is how I feel about um, <laughs> is that like social habits sometimes? Ugh, I hate I hate small talk with an absolute passion. <laughs> um. Phantoms of past lives, faded memories, lost friends, beauty in the finite. Um, when I say past lives, I actually mean like past memories, um, like past moments in time. I've actually never really experienced any past life. Um, I know a lot of other people have probably, um, but that's just not something I've ever encountered before. Uh, so in this moment, when I say past lives, I'm talking about, like, the past life you used to live back when you were either, like, a child or teenager, early 20s or something like that. Life is nothing but vague, real, fleeting, eternal. It is here, yet gone. Try to catch the moment, right? Life is so vast and strange, so deliciously complex, one can only savor. <laughs> this one's stupid. <laughs> everything just is, and how nice it is to is. Is is everything. <laughs> there is I that writes, a you to the I that reads. We are the same I. Um, it's updated into a video. <laughs> there is I that speaks. To this I, that would be a you. No. I messed it up. <laughs> Whatever. There is I that speaks. A you to the I that listens. We are the same I. Mysteriously, God works. Coincidence? No, not that mysterious. Um. Yeah. From nothing, I wake. 
breathe, breath, breathe, breath. One by one, <laughs> universe restored. No words to express the subtle vibrations in the symphony of life. Desperate minding, future, past, <laughs> all actions wrong, indecision bonds. Ugh. Manifestation, bringing forth out of nothing into everything. Buoyancy of bliss, ignorance of ignorance, floats on life's rivers. Serene suffering, salvation indiscriminate, salvage the savage. Fire extinguishes, waters evaporate, so cleanses the soul. Conscience vilifies social aspirations. Virtue intrinsic. Calamity strikes the lone vessel of no path. Storms of intention. <laughs> this is, um... Ah, uh, this is similar to, like, trying to quiet the mind. Storms of intention. What can man expect? A revelation of truth salvates only souls. Rhythms drive the man, souls beating pulse marching on, chords strummed of motion. Warm amber sunset, shining bright the autumn leaf. Such trance those eyes hold. Jesus Christ, I don't think that person will know. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. I forgot about this one. Um, <laughs> past accumulates, present presenting itself. Future diminished. Silk ribbon smoke undulating in sunlight, resting on breezes. Not flowing, the breeze flows it. No breeze, it flows it. And thus flow thyself. Man, I like this one. This one was um, back when I used to smoke cigarettes. Um, I think I was outside the library just reading a book in the car because <laughs> I hate interacting with people. Jesus Christ. Um, but yeah, so um, I was sitting there smoking a cigarette and it was such a calm, still day. Um, you could see the smoke and I think it was like late afternoon so like the sunlight was hitting it just right uh, undulating in sunlight yeah <laughs> resting on breezes where you would like float up and then sit still and then be wafted up by another slight breeze and then sit still um, so when it's not what there so I would blow it out at different intensities when it's not flowing when it's at rest the breeze flows it when there's no breeze, it flows it, and thus flow thyself. Get rid of the breezes, get rid of the storms of intention, get rid of um, the mind's chatter, the turbid waters. <laughs> Set them still. <gasps> That's it. All right. That was actually quicker than I thought it would be. All right, guys, um, I actually do have another video planned. Um, I've actually got it all written out. Um, I've finished the PowerPoint. All I got to do is record it and put it up. Um, I'm going to see if I can try and do that um, right after this. We'll see, though. Uh, it's it's kind of hard to get into that mindset to switch from one video to the next. Like, oh, my God. I really do all these videos in one take. So um, we'll see if I can do it both in the same day but if not it is coming out this month and i'm also going to try and put out february's poetry this month as well like i said um i don't really care about subscribers i don't really care about likes or dislikes or whatever so if you hate it thumbs it down <laughs> if you liked it whatever i don't care <laughs> um so yeah that was it those are my rosebuds guys um like i said if this inspires you to make your own go ahead great awesome that's all i wanted i don't care if you like it or not there it is <laughs>